All right, so here we go. This is your quiz one study guide, and you can take your notes. You can take them on the study guide if you want, or you can take them separately and leave your study guide clean so you could, you know, rework problems on there without seeing your old notes. That's up to you. So this first question here, short answer, are points K, E, and H collinear or non-collinear? And remember what collinear means? On the same line. And non-collinear means not on the same line. All right, so we're going to identify K, which is right here, E, and H. Are they on the same line? No, no. so they're non-collinear. Are they coplanar or non-coplanar? They're coplanar, aren't they? Aren't they all in the bottom of the box, basically, that plane that occupies the bottom of the box? All right, very good. All right, so let's take a look at number two here. You're told that E to F is eight units long. E to G, that's this length, is 27 units long. And you're asked to find the value of FG, which is right here. So doesn't 8 plus FG equal 27? Yes. The two smaller segments make up the entire segment. So if we subtract 8 from each side then our FG is equal to 27 minus eight, 19. All right, number three, what are the names of the segments in the figure? There's three of them, okay? We've got, uh, let's see, I'll highlight it. We've got M to N, don't we? So we've got MN. We've got N to O. And what's the third segment? Very good. The entire piece, isn't it? All right, MO. Now, remember, when you're naming a segment or you're naming a line, you're using two points. When you're naming a segment, you're using the endpoints of the segment. The order of those letters doesn't matter. So you could also see NM, ON, or OM. Those are both good answers. And problem number four asks, what are the names of four coplanar points? And coplanar means on the same plane. And I'm looking at this picture, and I, I only see four points in that plane. Okay? K, point K is not in the plane, is it? outside of the plane and l is not in the plane it's outside of the plane so we've got these four points that are sitting on or in the plane so we're going to go with d a j and b they are coplanar in the same plane All right, back to collinear. Are A, B, and D collinear? If so, name the line on which they lie. Well, we've got A, B, 
and D. Are those three points collinear? No. So that's just a no. Okay. If so, name the line. Well, they're not on the same line, so we're not going to name a line. And if we were or if they were collinear and you had to name a line, you name a line with any two points on the line. Any two points on the line. All right, number six, ask you to name the plane represented by the top of the box. So when you are naming a plane, the criteria for naming a plane is by three non-collinear points. You have to use three non-collinear points. So we're talking about the top of this box right here. So we've got to use three points that are not in the same line. So first I would call plane A, B, J. You could call it A, B, J. That's the top of the box. And I'm not going to write the plane symbol every time that I name these, name this plane. Can anybody give me another set of three non-collinear points that we can name the top of the box by? Yes. A, did you say A, F, and B? A, F, and B would would be naming the left side of the box. We need to be naming the top of the box. Yes, ma'am. A, I, and J, good. All right, we're naming this portion of the box right here. Anybody else see anything? We got D, C, J. We got D, I, J. We could use B, J, and I. Any three points that are not in this, not on the same line. We could use C, J, and I. We can use, we can go A, C, D. So there's a bunch of ways that you can name the plane that represents the top of the box. Can anybody tell me which three points you cannot use? Yes, ma'am. A, I, D. Very good. You can't use A, I, D. They're collinear, aren't they? All right. And what else can't you use? C, B, and J. C, B, and J. Good. Or I'm going to reorder it to C, J, and B. They're on the same line, so you cannot use those to name a plane. All right, problem number seven, E to F, 6X plus 16. F to G is 13, and E to G is 125. Find the value of X. All right, so again, small segment plus other small segment equals the entire segment. So we're going to go with 6X plus 16 plus 13. 
equals 125. So now we got, we're going to combine the 16 and the 13. So 6x plus 29 equals 125. We can subtract 29 from each side. So 6x is going to equal 125 minus 29, 96. And then we're going to divide each side by 6. And x is equal to 16. Problem number nine, e to f is 2x minus 8. f to g, 4x minus 18. And e to g, 22. Again, the sum of the two smaller segments equals the entire segment. So we take 2x minus 8. We add it to 4x minus 18, and that's got to equal 22. So on the left-hand side of this equation, we got to combine like terms. We've got to combine the 2x and the 4x, and that gives us 6x. And then we got to combine a negative 8 and a negative 18. So in your calculator, you can take 8 negative minus 18 equals, and I get Six. negative 26. And it's still equal to the 22. So I'm going to add 26 to each side. And 6x is going to equal 48. Going to divide each side by six. And 48 divided by six. Our X is equal to eight. Now, be careful on this question tomorrow, please, because they're asking you to find the values of X, E to F, and F to G. It's not going to be a multiple choice question for the pre-ACE classes. So it's going to be a three-part answer, short answer. So make sure you read all the directions because now we need E to F. All right. Our EF is equal to 2 times 8 minus 8, which is 16 minus 8. <laughs> which is eight. All right, so here's our EF. And they ask you for FG. So there's two ways you can find FG, isn't there? One of the ways is by substitution. FG is equal to four times eight minus 18 which is 32 minus 18, which is 14. So here's our X. Here's our E to F, and here's our F to G. Is there another way you could have found FG without substituting? Once you knew that E to F was 8, 
Couldn't you have taken 22 minus 8? And that would have given you 14 as well. So two ways to find the length of the last segment there. All right, another two-part question. Name the line and plane. Name the line and the plane. So the line is AB or line BA. The plane, three non collinear points. We can use ADB. We can use ABC. We can use ADC. Does anybody see anything else? Three non collinear points. We can use BDC. All right, so any questions on those 10 problems on your study guide? All right, it looks like the key terms for tomorrow are collinear and non-collinear. Coplanar and non-coplanar. All right, making sure that you can name a line, name a plane, and name segments. And that you can write an equation to solve for segment lengths. All right, so that concludes your study guide for quiz one.